What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be taking a little bit of a vacation from the heavy winter drinks filled with cream that uh, come to dominate our uh, holiday season. And we're gonna be doing something that's still kind of in the winter sort of flavors, but uh, a little bit brighter, a little bit more citrusy. Still gonna have a little maltiness to it, but it's gonna be just like a little more, you know, punchy. We're gonna do a gin punch. All right, let's make the cocktail and we'll talk about it a little bit later. First thing we're gonna do. I feel like I, I, I like moved my head weird when I said that. I was like, I don't know. Maybe not. I would think that you would have called me out for it if I oh, had. Oh, that level wasn't the way so I could. Oh, yes, we couldn't see it, yes. All right, we're gonna do one ounce of lemon juice and we're fresh squeezing today because we're gonna get all those nice oils from our lemon into this drink. Ooh, it's like, it's like everywhere. I need to get a large format citrus press. I keep saying that and I keep not doing it. I'm gonna do it one of these days. All right. Luckily I got an ounce there. So one ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of raspberry syrup. I'm gonna take two orange wedges and one pineapple wedge. All right, then we're gonna do two See, I had to pr I had to to prep this because this broke, and you know I said this before, bulls. I think you can do better than this, uh, but I had to prep it ahead of time because it was it's hard to get off because it broke. Uh, we're gonna do two ounces of uh, Jennifer or Holland's gin. Well, I guess Jennifer is Holland's gin, really. And then we're going to give it a nice press. Now you're gonna see something and I am doing a little bit differently these days. So usually I would just, because I'm doing a pebble ice cocktail, I would just um, take a little Scotia pebble ice and put it in there, whip, shake it and dump it. But because I don't want all of the fruit actually in the cocktail, we're actually going to prep our glass with uh, ice, throw some other ice into the tin, throw our cocktail in there, get a nice shake. All right, and then, whoa. I'm not even gonna double strain. I'm just gonna strain it over the pebble into our fancy sort of goblet style glass. I'm gonna give it a little snow cap on top. And then, because it is a punch and we like to make things fancy, we're going to just go maybe a little garnish crazy on this one. First, we're gonna get a nice bushy. Look at these mints. These mints are incredible. You get a nice bushy mint spray here. Give it the old slappy poo. We have a crushy pants. Break the stems off. Throw these in here. I'm probably gonna put one of our straws up in here as well. And then we're just going to garnish with whatever fruit we have on hand. So, a couple of raspberries, blueberry. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm actually gonna give us a little lemon zest on top and then just roll this up like so. I stick that on as well. Just go through each layer separately. I kind of bent my pick a little bit. It's sad. I really like these. That was one robust fruit. I had to bend to my pick. I'm just gonna. No, oh, maybe. Maybe that's a little much, but you know what? These things deserve to be fancy. All right, just lay it on. Ah! Ah! Oh. So just lay it on top. My little skull. How's that look? Let's see. Let me turn that around. See, you can tell the pick is bent. I don't like that. There we go. And then, I don't know, maybe a little, little pineapple. How's that, Marius? Is that fancy enough for you? Yeah, pretty fancy. Let's give it a taste. Oh, it's so good. So what I love about this is that the Geneva 
uh, is like Jin's maltier counterpart. So what you're gonna have is this really malty flavor that kind of blends in with the lemon juice. The raspberry syrup is kind of balancing everything out. We put a little bit of lemon zest on there so you get that nice oil, kind of the aroma of the oil. You get the aroma of the mint that we've kind of crushed on there. Um, so this cocktail is a gin cocktail or a fancy gin cocktail. Uh, is from Jerry Thomas's Bon Vivant's Guide, first edition in 1862. And basically this is the punch that people would have been drinking before the John Collins, AKA the Tom, or like the John Collins, which then turned into the Tom Collins. It does bear mentioning that the 1887 edition of the Bon Vivant's Guide added a couple of dashes of maraschino liqueur in this, making it a fancy gin cocktail. So if you wanna make it fancier, Put a little maraschino liqueur in there and then you could be even fancier. So there you have it guys, the gin punch or the fancy gin punch. If you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. We've got lots of merch and a virtual bottle program at theeducatedbarfly.com. So check that out. Hit like, hit subscribe, smash the like button, which I didn't say in the beginning of the video, but Marius has been trying to get me to say that in the beginning of each video, smash the like button. And I'll see you guys in another time.